Vande Shri Krishna Chaitanya Nityananda Sahodita Gorodaya Pushpavanta Chitra Shanta Jamodita Ajana Lambita Bhujo Kamakavadato Sankirtanaika Vitaro Kamalaya Taksho Vishwam Bharo Dvijabaro Yoga Dharma Palo Vande Jagat Priyakaro Karnavataro Srila Bhaktivinoda you know, Thakur has sung Gora Mara Jeshabhasthane Karalo Brahmana Rangi Sheshabhasthana Heribo Ami Pranayi Bhakata Sangi He says that chanting Japa you can't chant and hear at the same time one or the other. Bhaktivinoda you know, Thakur says my Gora, Amar Gora, Gora Amara. Who can say Gora Amara? One who is actually free from any other desire than to serve Gora, he can say Amar Gora. Because Gora, he is not the fulfiller of our material desires. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come to show us what our actual desires should be, such as not sitting with one's back to the deities. For instance, this is in Rupa Goswami's Bhakti Rasamrit Sindhu, under the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Rupa Goswami wrote this as Rupa Nugas. We have to follow what he taught. So, Gora Mara, one who has no desire for anything else, then he can say, Gora Mara. Dhan more Nityananda, Pati more Gora Chandra, Narotanda says. That my wealth is Nityananda. So there are many Gujaratis here. Patels? Yeah, many Patels. You are also by mundane outlook. Of course you are Vaishnava. But the name is there Patel. So Patel is known where there is Patel there is money. <laughs> <laughs> Motel Patel. In, in, in America it is Motel Patel. So <laughs> Patel means money, but Narotanda says Dhan more Nityananda. The money we get here, that is the cause of our Dhan more Nirananda. The money we get in this world is not bringing happiness. That is Nirananda. There is no happiness there. You can pile yourself up in dollar bills or even hundred dollar bills but it, there's no intrinsic happiness there. So one whose wealth is Nityananda Patimo Gora Chandra whose Lord is Gora Chandra who lives only for pleasing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as Bhakti no Thakur is Namo Bhakti Vinodaya Satchita Ananda Namine Gora Shakti Swarupaya Rupa Anuga Varayate. He is Gora Shakti Swarup. The Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's energy, his power for uh, imparting, just like he gave to Rupa Goswami, Shakti Shancha. He gave him the power to write to reveal Sri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Jena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Gadamahyam Dadati Swapadanti Kam Chaitanya Mahaprabhu <coughs> empowered Rupa Goswami to see what is in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's heart and reveal that. He gave him special blessings to do so. People come asking for blessings. What do you want blessings for that? We can be good in studies. You know, he lost the sound altogether. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Okay. We can be good in studies, healthy, get free from backache, and 
so many things like this. Rup Goswami received the blessings from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that he could understand the very heart of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and communicate that to the world. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur was infused with the, or he is the very medium of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's power. Therefore he is Rupa Nogavar. He is the best of the followers of Rupa Goswami. So he can say, Gora Amar, my Gora. Jeshabasthane Karala Brahmana Rangam. All the places visited by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in great happiness. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was traveling in great happiness because wherever he went, he chanted Krishna, 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 hey, Krishna, 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 hey, Krishna, 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 Rakama, Krishna, 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 Pahima, Rama, Raghava, Rama, Raghava. Rama Raghava Rakama Krishna Keshava Krishna Keshava Krishna Keshava Pahima So Chaitanya Mahabharata in great ecstasy would travel from place to place and Bhaktivinoda Thakur aspires to visit all the places that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu visited. He, I, I also want to go there in the association of loving devotees. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he traveled to so many places. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasara Thakur had a project to establish 64 Padapit of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the place, footprints, so that people can know that he went to these places. Of course, he visited many more than 64 places, but 64 prominent places. But Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasara Thakur established how many? Nine, I was thinking. So in Mandar, which Kanai Nadshala, then at Kurmakshetra, at Jajpur, and some at uh, Kovur, some few places he established. So Bhakti Thakur aspires to visit all the places visited by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And now Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, of whom uh, Jagarananda Pandit, his intimate associate, he wrote, Gorange Nritta Nitta. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's dancing is eternal. It's going on eternally. This uh, Chaitanya Bhagavat also states, Adapiho Jailila Kare Gora Rai Kono Kono Bhagavane Deki Bare Pai. Even today, those who are fortunate, some fortunate people, they can see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastimes going on. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is dancing and Srila Prabhupada danced all over the world and he brought Gornitai in his heart. So now Gornitai are here, Nitai Gaurasundha. And Prabhupada came here. So for a long time I also had a desire to come because I heard this I heard this, uh, how Prabhupada, they saw the photo, and said, where are these deities? Immediately, let us go. So Prabhupada immediately came. So, so beautiful, Nitai Gora, Sundar. Of course, there are many names. Gora, we can say just Gora. Or we can say Goranga, very common name. Gora Chandra, Gor Bhagavan, <coughs> Gor Hari. He's Gora and he's also Bhagavan. Supreme Lord, Gaur Hari, Gaur Krishna. But here specifically, he is known as Gaur Sundar. Very beautiful. Krishna is the most beautiful, isn't he? Most beautiful is Krishna. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Some people say that Radharani is more beautiful. <laughs> that's what Prabhupada said. He's he said, you, when you're dressing the deities, you always make Radharani more beautiful. And then Krishna will never leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is Krishna, but he is Krishna admitting defeat. 
that I'm the, I'm the greatest. I'm, no one is greater than me. I'm God. But he's defeated by Radha Rani. Radha Bhava Dyuti Suvalitam Nomi Krishna Swarupa. He has accepted the form and the, uh, the, the bodily, the color. It's uh, Gora Krishna. That's a funny name, isn't it? Sounds strange. Gora, golden black. In Bengali, there's a name that's there for for Krishna, the Sri Krishna Ashtotara Shatana. Hundred and eight names of Krishna, very famous in Bengal. So one of the names given for Krishna is Kala Sona, black gold. Kala Sona. So now they call this oil black gold. <laughs> But the real black gold is Krishna. He's black. <coughs> but we shouldn't think that he's black hearted. His heart is gold because his heart is Radharani who is golden. Who are non different actually. Radha Krishna Pranayapikriti Haladine Shakti Asmad. Ekat Mana Apivi Pura Deha Bedam Gato To. Radha and Krishna are one, they're the same. Supreme truth, but they have manifested as two for the sake of enjoying bliss. She is Sladini Shakti. She is bliss potency. She is happiness. That's why Krishna cannot get any happiness without Radha Ram. Because she is all happiness. Krishna's happiness. So, uh, Chaitanya Akam Prakatam Yad, what is that? Chaitanya Akam Prakatam Yad, Aduna Tadvayam Chaikam Aptam, Radha Bhava Duty Suvalitam Nomi Krishna Surupa. Radha and Krishna have again combined in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna, but thinking that I'm so beautiful, I'm so wonderful. I'm so nice, I'm so sweet, but I can't enjoy my own beauty and sweetness because I'm me. So I should become Radha. So these are very... He is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is Gora Krishna. He is Krishna, the Supreme Lord, but he is, he is in golden form. So is he, gold, is he Gora or is he Krishna? He is both. He is Gora Bhagavan. At the same time he is in the mood of his body. <coughs> So, in some ways, it seems that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Leela is very ordinary. If we hear of Krishna Leela, we hear that Krishna is from very childhood killing great demons like Putana. Then Putana becomes huge, massive, long form, eight miles long. And Krishna goes with Arjuna on the chariot and cross, goes through all the coverings of the universes and reaches to Mahavishnu and Krishna scours the whole ocean looking for the sons of his guru. Krishna shows the Vishva Rupa. But in Gaur Leela we see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gai Gaura Madhusura. He's singing. Gauranga Nritta Nitta. He's he's dancing. Of course we hear also some narrations. He also sometimes showed Vishva Rupa. And then one time he embraced seven palm trees and they vanished and went back to Godhead. But in Chaitanya Leela we don't hear of so many extraordinary things. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu doesn't lift a hill and hold it for seven days. In Krishna Leela there are many extraordinary things. So it seems like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Leela is, is very ordinary in some ways. As many people, they, they think, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he's, he's a great devotee, but he's not Bhagavan. Well, he is Bhagavan, but he's playing like a devotee. So he doesn't show so, so many amazing things, but actually, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Leela is even more amazing than that of Krishna. Because... One thing is that he is Krishna, but in covered form. That in itself is amazing. How Krishna, who is the supreme great, 
is hankering after himself. He is showing what is the, that bhakti is so wonderful that he himself wishes to taste that. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Leela is even more astonishing. Krishna has created so many universes. Krishna is destroying so many universes. Krishna is showing the Vishwarupa. Krishna is killing terrible demons. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Leela is even more wonderful because he is giving love of Krishna which is very rare to achieve to the most not only unqualified but disqualified the most sinful people but this is more difficult to appreciate one has to be a devotee to appreciate how great is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu when we, when we hear of God we you want to know how great he is what's he doing huh? how, how powerful he is so, so that then we think Narayana, he's so powerful. That's, even Brahma was bewildered. He saw Krishna, little cowherd boy, running around, holding food in his left hand. That's not very civilized. What's he doing with food in his left hand? He doesn't even know how to behave properly. And he's running around without even any shoes on. And he's God. Even Brahma was bewildered. He thought he's not God. So the concept of God goes up to Vaikuntha, up to Naraya, and a little bit beyond up to Ayodhya, and maybe as far as Dwarka. But even then it's getting a little bit difficult to understand how Krishna is living with so many queens. Generally the concept of God begins with the impersonal understanding that he's, he's the supreme power. But rather he's the supreme power full if we're going to pray to God, we, we have to pray to a person. People think we're praying to God, but God isn't a person. But he must, if we're going to pray, He's going to listen and hear and respond. He must be a person. Now, not that there's some, it, it, it's not like some, you know, you have, you have some computerized, when you're driving it says, take a left. But it's not really a person. So God is not a computerized dispenser of, of wishes, that you put your wish into the computer and then there's some software and it processes it and you get your what you want. God is not like that. He's a person. So this idea of, of the, the concept of God, the actual concept of God, must begin with understanding Him as a person. But because people without any information of God, they find it very difficult to conceive of Him. Therefore, they either deny His personality, they'll still pray to Him. They'll pray to Allah, but they deny that He's a person. Or they'll accept that He's a person, but not being able to conceive of Him as a person, they make the mistake of saying that, well, Jesus is God, because they can, they can relate to Him as a person. But they made the mistake because he never himself said that. And he's himself said that he's the son of God. So the, the, the desire to worship a person as God became misplaced. And therefore they come up with the rather strange theology that Jesus is a God, but he died for three days. God died for three days. So it's it's actually bizarre theology it's, or they have a picture of <clears throat> they have a picture of God sitting on a cloud with a big long beard very old because he's created the world and it's been a long time and he's so busy with throwing people into hell he never has time to shave and, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he became so old and looking angry and throwing people into hell all-merciful God, if you don't believe in Him in one life, then you are burned in hell forever. So it's, it's strange theology. Anyway, it's a beginning. At least there's some idea of God as a person, although primitive. Primitive. <coughs> Actual information of God comes in the Vedic literature. Otherwise, 
they have to speculate. And if you speculate, you can't understand because our intelligence cannot reach up to Him. We can understand philosophically that God must be a person, the Supreme must be a person. But what is He like? What is His personality? We have to be informed of that. Just like we can understand in any country there is a head of state. There must be a head of state. Even in democracy, there's always, they say democracy, but there's always, always either prime minister or president. There's, there's, because when you have to make decisions, ultimately someone has to take the responsibility. Even in the communist system, which is supposed to be everyone cooperating and everyone's equal, but it was very clear in the communist countries, in each country, who was the head of state. And he was actually a, in the communist country is generally a dictator. And not generally, in every case. Communism meant dictatorship, actually, factually, what it came to be. So we can understand that if, if at all we are theistic, and if we're not theistic, then we're just a nonsense and fool. Because there must be someone in charge. If we come in any country, we see we must understand. No, there must be someone. We don't see... You may not even know, just like if you're traveling around. I've been traveling around a lot in various countries in the last few weeks. and Most of the countries I went to, I didn't know who the head of state was, or I wasn't even aware what the system of government is, because I'm not that much interested in it. It doesn't make that much difference to our day-to-day -day life. But we, we can understand there must be a head of state. So, in the same way, in the whole universe, there's a head of state. He doesn't change. There's no change in the political system. There's no elections. That God God has a four-year term or a five-year term and then someone else becomes God. Today it's Krishna, tomorrow it's Ganesh. And then after that... <laughs> and in India they invented so many Babas. The Baba of the 21st, 21st century God. The old God is out of date. So we now have a modern God. Now you send this Banga Bihari. They, in Vrindavan they dressed Banga Bihari in jeans and a t-shirt with a cell phone. <laughs> this is nonsense. <laughs> we have to change to be like him. We should dress like him, not that he should dress like us. He sets the fashion, not that we set the fashion. So he's he's the anyway we should we can understand there must be someone behind all this there's some supreme controller but who is he how does he control what is the system of government that we have to if you come in any country you can ask right, what system of government is here who's the head of state so you can get this information but then what is he like? As a, he's a person also. Apart from being the head of state, he's also an individual person. What does he like to eat for breakfast? That's a personal choice, isn't it? You Logically, we can understand there must be a head of state, he must be a person. But what is he like? A personal means he has his individual preferences. We don't want to discuss the heads of state's pref eating preferences here. It's not fit in the temple of Krishna. But they have, as individual persons, they have in the, they, certain music they like, certain kind of food they like. They have their wives and their girlfriends and all this kind of thing. They're not supposed to have girlfriends, but probably most of them do on the side. So, that there is God or a supreme person, we can understand logically. But who... If we are to love him, it's not just a matter of, there's this idea that, well, the head of state is there, but he just administers everything, and so that we can get on with enjoying life by ourselves. We don't really want, we don't need much information about him. So this, if we're not interested to know who he is, then there's no real question of love of God. It's just like in some countries, maybe in America also, in many places, they put in people's houses, they put a picture of the head of state. They do that, some Republican voters, do they do that in their house? They put a picture of President Bush 
They do that in Thailand in every house. You see a picture of the king and the queen. And people, they like the king. They have a sense of liking the king and the queen. Used to be in Nepal also, but things have changed there drastically. <coughs> You're Nepali? No. So you smiling there. <laughs> They've got magazines that have pictures. Hmm? They might have a picture hanging, but they have magazines in their house that contain all the pictures. pictures. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, so you can, the, the idea is that the, the, the head of state is there, and we like them, but we don't really have any connect, we, we, we like them, but we don't really have much interaction with them. They're living their life, and we're living our life. So people who are not really interested to love God, they don't really want to know about him very much either that he gives us blessings so we can enjoy ourselves. We'll be good, he'll bless us, and we'll enjoy ourselves. But love of God means we have to know about it. We have to know something about them, isn't it? Just like you've all heard of Sunil Chattopadhyay, haven't you? You've all heard of him? (coughs) One of the best loved people? you never heard of him. You like to love him also? No? Well, if you... Anyway, I just made up the name. I'm sure there is someone with that name. But uh, you can't love him and you can't love if you don't know. You can't love unless you have some information. They even make up. They, they make novels. And people, you know, they fall in love with the character in the novel. They, you know, they start crying when they think of the story of how... Snow White, I don't know, Cinderella, Cinderella, she lost, oh, it's only imagination. So if we're to love someone, we have to have some info. You can't love someone. Why, why do you, just like they have this marriage bureau and they try to do some matching. That this, I like tennis and I like, my wife should like tennis so we can play tennis together. Oh, I like jazz music, so it'd be good if I had a wife who also liked jazz music. So they try to match. There should be some, there should be some matching. There should be some mutual interest. You can't love someone if you have nothing in common with them, isn't it? So we have to know <coughs> about Krishna. What is what is he as a, what does Krishna like to eat for breakfast? He eats a very big breakfast. Have you seen that song by Bhakti Rao Thako? Shukta Shakadi Bhaji Nalita Kushmanda Dali Dalna Dugda Tumbi Dadi Mocha. It's a huge feast and that's only for breakfast. And he has a lunch pack which he takes out at midday also. One time in Vrindavan there was a dispute going on the, between the cooks and the management. Because the cooks, they wanted to cook big plates for offering to Krishna Balaram and Gornitai and Radha Shamsa. And the Mandarin saying, no, cost too much. <laughs> <laughs> so then the question came to Prabhupada and said, how, sh- how should we feed Krishna Balaram? That you should feed them like hungry young boys, <laughs> healthy, young men, healthy young boys. So they eat plenty. They're working, they're going out in the fields all day, chasing and playing. And then at night, Krishna's also. He's, a very, he's very busy enjoying. Being the supreme enjoyer is a full-time job. He's in, so, so, day and night. For us, it's Diba Nishi Hiya Jale. Shamsara Bishana Le Diba Nishi Hiya Jale. We're burning in the fire of material existence day and night. But Krishna, day and night, is simply enjoying transcendental bliss. So we should we should know what does Krishna like to eat? What's he doing? Well, how is he playing? Who are his friends? Who are, who is his wife or his wives and his girlfriends? He has wives and girlfriends. So who's he? What's his father's name? What's his mother's name? What's his brother's name? Then we can if we hear about Krishna, then we can love him. So. Krishna consciousness means actual theism. 
going beyond impersonalism, going beyond formal personalism, to actually love. Krishna means who we not who we can love, but who without loving whom Shanyayatam Jagat Sarvam Govinda Virahename. Chaitanya Mahabhu is praying like this. But we should all why don't we feel like that? We there's there's no meaning to our lives without Krishna. We're finding so many things meaningful. <coughs> Just like they they say there's a very important sports game coming up. Major football game is coming up. Important. Very important. What's important about it? There's nothing important about it. But we think it's important because we're foolish. Or in India it's cricket. India versus Pakistan. <laughs> cricket game. People are saying, well, there's nothing important. It doesn't make any difference. Even presidential election. Well, it's kind of important. It depends how much importance we put on this world. But ultimately, what's going on in this world? Eating, sleeping, mating and defending. Ahar nidra bhayamaitum. What's So whether... whether Senator so and so becomes the president of the the chief eater, sleeper, mater and defender, or some other senator becomes the 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 head of the great American dream, how to eat, sleep, mate and defend in the American way. So it doesn't really make that much difference. It all It all ends in disappointment. Material life means Tatala Saikate Bari Vinda Sama. Hmm? What is it? Sutta Mita Ramani Samaji. Society, friendship and love. We're burning. Burning in the fire of material existence. And little drop of happiness is society, friendship and love. That's all. And therefore, we're thinking this is happiness. But ultimately, Madhav, Ham Parinama, Nirasha. Ultimately, we become disappointed. So let us learn about Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come to give us the highest level of God consciousness beyond sitting him, putting him a picture of him or just waving some incense and bless me so I can enjoy material life. To love of Krishna, very intimate love of Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come to teach that by his own example. And Prabhupada, he came to bring what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give us. So this is something very special. Of course, coming from the Western countries, we we don't have any idea of this. Those who are from India have some idea. In Gujarat, Srinathji, there are so many Valab Sampradayi, Vaishnavas. And Dwarka is there, Dako, Rancharai. So in Gujarat, Krishna Bhakti is there. Prabhupada, he once said that, he wrote in one letter, Krishna is also Gujarati. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, he's actually Mathurawala, but he left and he's adopted Gujarati. Just like... So many good, just like Jashwamati Nandan Prabhu. He's Joshi, Gujarati Brahmin, but actually his family is originally from Rajasthan. So they're an adopted Gujarati. So Krishna's like that also. Of course, he's also Mathurawala. 
Everywhere, all of India, there's Krishna. At Badrinath, there's Naranarayan, Badri Vishal. In South India, we have in Udupi, Krishna is there. He actually came from Dwaraka and ended up there. So Krishna is worshipped all over India in Puri, Jagannath, Jagannath Subhadra Balade. In South India, so many big temples of Lakshmi Narayana, who is Krishna, famous temple, Sri Rangam, Tirupati. So there's, there's understanding, Krishna consciousness is there. But nevertheless, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu brought something special, better, even more than the bhakti that was going on. That is, Anarpita Chiring Chirad Karunya Vatirna Kalo Samapiyata Munatadswala Rasa Swabhakti Sriyam. He came to give the Krishna Bhakti that even the we can't say ordinary Krishna Bhakti because Krishna Bhakti is always extraordinary. But he came to give Krishna Bhakti on a level that was unprecedented, unheard of. The Unatajvala Rasa. Rasa, in Rasa Vicha, there, there is Shanta Rasa. And Bhakti really begins from Dasya Rasa. Shanta Rasa means appreciation of Bhagavan. Dasya Rasa means his service. So mostly Bhakti is conceived of as service to Bhagavan, which is true, because Bhakti means service. But then when the service gets more developed, there is Sakya Rasa. So mostly all the Sampradayas, the Vaishnav Sampradayas, they teach up to the level <coughs> of Sagorav Sakya Rasa. It means friendship with Krishna, but at the same time, friends with him, but at the same time knowing he's God and being a little careful. Just like Arjuna, he was saying that... Uh, he was apologizing to Krishna. Oh, I was too familiar with you. But then there are more intimate friends, this Bhakti Rasa of Vrindavan, Vraja Rasa. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to, came to impart this, that in Sakya Rasa there is another level of friendship, which is Vishramba Sakya Rasa, higher level, in which the friends of Krishna, they feel, they don't, consider, even if they know he's God, they're not very interested. They think, just like Krishna's holding Govardhan, and they're, they're saying to Krishna that, come on Krishna, you must be getting a little tired now. Why don't, one of us can take over. He's holding the hill. Because they think he's just the same as us. He's just the same as us. So if he can hold it, we can hold it. We're, we're fighting with him, we're wrestling with him, playing with him every day. So sometimes he beats us, sometimes we beat him. So we can take over also. Every day they're coming back with the cows, they're coming back from the forest, coming back to Nandagaon, and all the demigods line up, Lord Brahma, Indra, Lord, they're end, ending up, they're making prayers to Krishna, and all the cowherd boys, they come around Krishna and they imitate and they pretend to be Brahma, and they're joking. Oh, Krishna, you are so great. <laughs> They're joking with him like this. <laughs> so, they don't care for his greatness. They simply love him. Prabhupada one time said, "My, I only have one desire. I just want to go to Vrindavan and steal Krishna's lunch pack. <laughs> so this is Vishrambha. Sakyaras, with very intimate. Then there is Vatsalyaras. Now, seeing Krishna as our son, seeing him as our, as our child. So in Gujarat, that's very common to have the Lalaji, the Gopal deity. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is taught even beyond that that one can become the lover of Krishna. It seems impossible. One of 
Prabhupada, young girl, she asked Prabhupada, Prabhupada's disciple, maybe she was 16 years old, that Prabhupada, can I become a gopi? Prabhupada said, yes. And Krishna will kiss you. <laughs> so Krishna will kiss. But who will he kiss? Those who are fully dedicated in love to him. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving this opportunity. Madhura Brinda Bipina Madhuri Prabesha Chaturi Sha Baraja Jubate Bhavera Bhakati Shakati Hoito Ka. Chaitanya Mahabhu is giving this that what is what's going on in Vrindavan in those bushes. You only see bushes, you only see forests, but within the forest there are the kunjas, the groves where Krishna is enjoying transcendental loving pastimes with the gopis, which is... Ah. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given intra, insight into the, the very sweetest thing, sweetness of love of Krishna. Only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can do this. No, even <coughs> other avatars, Matsya, Kurma, Varaha, even they could not. It is Swarasikhi Siddhi. Raja Gopi Dhan Paramachanchala Shati Nirbishesh Jogera Dhyan Nirbishesha Gyan Ekani Napai Stiti This the loving feelings of the gopis for Krishna is very is not possible to the yogis by their meditation and the Cultivation of Vedic knowledge, impersonal Vedic knowledge, has no place here. So this very, very high thing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given. But he's given such a high thing. Even the even great <coughs> Vaishnavas, many great Vaishnavas, they cannot appreciate. But he's given it to us by a very simple process of chanting the holy names. But as we were just singing, there's one condition to enter into this. Vishaya Charya Shairashe Majya. This Prem Ras, Raja Prem Ras, which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come to give, but we cannot appreciate this Prem Ras as long as we are trying to enjoy this Jara Ras, this perverted, mundane pleasure of this material world. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given this. Vairagya Vidya Nija Bhakti Yogam Shikshartha Meka Purusha Parana Shri Krishna Chaitanya Sharira Dhari Kripambhuti Yasta Maham Prabhadya Vairagya Vidya He's come to give knowledge Bhagavat Tattva Vigyanam Knowledge of Krishna But that has to be based on Vairagya we cannot enjoy this material world and love Krishna. The two things cannot go on side by side. So, Chaitanya Mahabharu has given us the highest thing. He's given it by a very easy and sweet process. But at the same time, one has to practice that very seriously to attain the result. And who will not want to? When we see how beautiful are Nitai Gaur Sunda, how beautiful is the path they have given us. How wonderful is Prabhupada who has come to give this all. Why should we not want to take their mercy? If we don't take, if we instead try to enjoy this material world, then it is simply janiya shunya bisha kaina. Knowingly killing ourselves, taking the poison of material existence. So, I'm very fortunate to come to this holy place. Bhaktivinoda Thakur is aspiring to go to all the places that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu visited. Now he's visited not only all of India, he's going all over the world. Prabhupada also visited him. So it's most special place. Thank you so much for kindly receiving me here. And please go on serving Nitai Gaur Sunda and begging for their mercy to give others knowledge of their wonderful gifts. <coughs> Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Is there any question about this? Hare Krishna.
If you don't mind, I don't like clapping because I'm not trying to make a performance. If you appreciate, then you please take up Krishna consciousness very seriously. That will be the better appreciation. Then you can bless me how I can become Krishna conscious. But I'm a little afraid if there's clapping because then I might become a, a, addicted to that. And I'll, I'll speak in a way that I'll get more claps. <laughs> if, if you clap me in the head, <laughs> I think maybe I'm speaking better. Because... <laughs> So, you like to see. any any questions? Ah, please. I have a question, but I, it's it's a it's more of a personal question. It's not exactly on what you spoke on. Is that okay? Well, is there any question on the topic first? No. Yeah. We're talking about Archimedes Tagore and how he's called a Shakti. Now, sometimes some people they have this idea that he's an Arab pundit. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. There is an indication of that in Bhaktisthan and Sarsari Thakur's writings. There is an indication of that in his. Uh, at the end of Chaitanya Charitamrita, he wrote a poem in which he identifies Bhaktivinoda you know, Thakur with <coughs> Gadatha Pandit and Gorky Shodas Prabhuji Maharaj with Srub Damada. But he doesn't directly say they're the same person. But it, it, there's shakti, there's shakti avesh also. They're they're imbued with the same mood and the same energy. Gora Shakti, that name was given to Shrinivas Acharya also. He was empowered with the energy of Mahaprabhu too. Even though he didn't meet him, he so much wanted to, but he wasn't able to. But he had the power to spread his teachings. So any Vaishnav who's spreading Krishna consciousness in a, in a very special way, he is Krishna Shakti Sancharita. Kali Kale Dharma Krishna Nama Shankita Krishna Shakti Bina Nahita Prabharta. So one who is specially favored by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is or specially Preaching Krishna consciousness very powerfully, we can we can understand he's getting the the special mercy. But there is it's not written directly, but it's it's parokshavada, parokshavada rishaya, paroksham mama chapriyam. This Krishna says in, to Uddhava that the rishis they speak in a roundabout way. And that's also dear to me. He says so. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswatiakwa in in Paroksha, or he, he definitely gave the name. He didn't directly say like this, but you, it's ascertainable by those who are Sargrahi Vaishnav. They can take this and uh, take it like that. But it's but he also said there that this should not be publicized very widely. So there are some things which that's internal. Therefore I didn't put it in my book. And let those who can take the trouble to read in the original Bengali read it. That's all. Mm. No, I didn't say that exactly. Please don't repeat that. It's not exactly what I said. It could be misunderstood. But uh, Bhakti Siddhan Sarsar Thakur saw Gadadha Pandit in him. Yeah. So how can, and then when we see that all the wonderful things together they were able to do, and they were able to announce how the world, and then they were able to travel with Mahavana and Vaikava, that Krishna looks, talks on that Krishna Bhakti, but also how can we appreciate our Sadhya Pratipi Mahatma? You mean you're a gopi? I'm not a gopi. 
How can we take that mood? We should follow all the instructions of Srila Prabhupada and in this way, Acharya Upasana. We worship the Acharyas by following their instructions. We can also sing the songs in glorification of them and written by them and glorify them. Just like we should speak on their glories and distribute the books which give people knowledge of them. This is Acharya Upasana. Service to the Acharyas. Pray for their mercy. It's a very practical thing. All the Acharyas, they come, what do they do? Acharya Upasana. They come to serve their Guru. Prabhupada said, I came to America on the order of my Guru Maharaj. Everything he did, every second, every moment, was simply to please his Guru Dev. And Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasri Thakur, everything he did was to fulfill the mission of Bhakti Nau Thakur and fulfill the order of Gorky Shodas Babaji Maharaj. They were constantly meditating on it. This is Guru Mukha Padna Bhaka Chitete Kori Aika Ana Kori Hamane Asha. The Acharyas have shown us this. The fully, Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasri Thakur is fully dedicated to Bhakti Nau Thakur. What Bhakti Nau Thakur gave, he, he, he served that, he expanded that, he lived by that. He had, not, he had every every cell of his transcendental body, or every every part of his existence was full of bhakti vinod only. Atma vai putraha. In the mundane sense, it says that one lives, one's one. The sun is non different from oneself. One continues to live as one sun. This is actually true in the case of sadguru and sadshishya. A real disciple is not different from his guru. He may appear to be different, but he's, he, he's the only difference is in a different, uh, in a different, or a, a somewhat different way, or apparently he simply serves the same principle. He only lives to fulfill the order of his guru. That's all. Mm. Now, thinking about it, it's not to convince the in relationship that when I think about what I talk of being more shakti, the attack was from Brahma Sahida and the Chimia on the side, like, and if we know that what we are talking about, he revealed himself in that place. And we wait so Yeah, yeah. Come on, right? Mm. So, so being in that, in that seva, it's not. Uh, <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He revealed that in many songs. Amita Shananda Shukadabashi Radhika Madhava Charanadasi. I'm sitting here in Swananda Sukata Kunj Godruma, but he's visualizing himself as the maidservant of Radha and Krishna. <laughs> Do harmilone ananda kari, do he bijoge, do ke te mori. I become blissful and s- when they come together, when they're joined together, and when they're separated, I die in, in, in pain, in unhappiness. Anyway, that's enough for the Sunday feast. That's <laughs> Hare Krishna. Looks like everyone's gone for the Sunday feast. You can talk about your books. Yeah. The real feast is we'll know our movement's really becoming successful when more people stay for the if there's a feast of kata, the people will stay for that. Just like Govardhan Puja, Bhaktisthan Sarsar Tako said, the real Mahotsav is not this Anakut means heaps of rice. But he said the real celebration is heaps of Harikata. So when we can 